The Jintang Taizi overhead power line link is a pair of 380 meter tall transmission towers carrying a 500 kilovolt power line between the Chinese islands of Jintang and Chezi. It is located near the city of Zhaoshan and approximately 140 kilometers south of Shanghai. Constructed in 2019, the towers are the tallest electricity transmission towers in the world. Additionally, the towers boast the world's longest span between two transmission towers at 2,656 meters. The towers are responsible for transmitting electricity across a body of water that is a busy shipping route. The reason for the tower's enormous height is to provide enough clearance for the ships traversing this strait. Each of the 24 transmission lines spanning between the towers weighs a whopping 700 tons. As a result, the cables will undergo significant sag at the midpoint between the towers, so they need to be lifted to a sufficient height to ensure they are not dangerously close to the water. To get a true sense of the scale of these towers, let's compare it to the iconic Eiffel Tower. At a height of 330 meters, the Eiffel Tower looks small next to the Jintang Taizi Towers. Both structures weigh approximately 7,000 tons, or the weight of 18 fully loaded Boeing 747 airliners. Speaking of the Boeing 747, you could squeeze 37 747s lined up nose to tail between the two towers. London's Big Ben is absolutely dwarfed by the Jintang Taizi Towers. At 96 meters, you would need to stack four Big Bens on top of each other to surmount the towers. Finally, New York City's Empire State Building is a worthy opponent to the towers, with its roof an equal 380 meters high. However, if you count its transmission spire, it edges out the Jintang Saizi Towers at 443 meters tall. But that's enough comparisons, let's see some destruction. The steel and aluminium transmission lines supported by this tower exert a tensile pulling force on the tower due to their weight. However, the tower is designed to have cables on both sides, and these pulling forces cancel out and result in zero lateral load on the tower. But if the tower is modeled with only cables on one side, this unbalanced force will result in the catastrophic failure of the tower as it is pulled to one side. To give a sense of scale, that tiny building you see in the valley between the towers is actually a massive 15-story concrete tower. And shortly, you will see what happens when 17,000 tons of steel cables fall 500 meters and crash into the roof. As a final note, the water between the towers has not been modeled, so we can see the true scale of destruction as the metal tumbles to the ground. Enjoy the show.
I certainly wouldn't want to be in that building when the towers collapse. Thankfully, we can have faith in the brilliant Chinese engineers who designed and constructed this modern wonder of the world, and the likelihood of such a violent failure is slim to none. If you enjoyed the catastrophic destruction seen in this video, be sure to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss future simulation videos.